Welcome back, friends. So we're going to take um, a pretty uh, close look at just the organizational aspects of the Great Adventure. And I want to highlight, I will be highlighting it within my discussion for those who either do not have the Great Adventure Bible or are, are, are Protestant. So, because it's, so we'll, we'll unfold with that. So, Let's say you were fortunate not not fortunate. You were blessed. You were blessed to be given this book um, for some occasion. So then it's real easy to put the tabs in. Okay, you can start to see I have notes going on this one, and uh, I have beautiful videos um, listed here in my notes where you can go and they go in great detail on how to use the chart that I showed that nice um, timeline chart and both from Ascension Press where you can buy that and also um, other sites as well. So they do a good job and I don't need to uh, reinvent the wheel. So let's go on to what if uh, what if you don't have this Bible? Let's say you have an old Bible you've been using, and then you come across this method. And you can see I have gold tabs. I don't have those beautiful colored tabs that we'll, we're going to look at a little bit more different. Or let's say, um, so this is a recent purchase of mine, the Schofield Bible, uh, our authorized King James, 1917. I am, look how gorgeous it is, gold leaf. And I purposely bought gold leaf tabs to match. Okay, so what are we going to do about that? You, this is what I chose to do. And it's what we were taught before uh, this uh, development within the concept is you get um, some colored pencils. And if you'll note, in my colored pencil bag, we have... <laughs> The little bookmark and it reminds you what color uh, and we'll get to the colors to use so here are my uh, colored pencils at the top of each of the books you'll take your colored pencil so let's say it's Genesis that is uh, turquoise it's the color so not only are we learning an organization, but right, we're wanting to work on memory, memory storage, and often good memory uh, methods involve mnemonics. So uh, a mnemonic would be looking at the early world, um, right from space, it looks turquoise. And so you would take, so what I did is I took my, now you see all my notes, You see the blue up there with Genesis? I would uh, take my and uh, highlight the narrative books of which um, there really aren't that many. And I put that up in blue. And so that was a way for me to know where I um, was with the reading. Uh, was I in the early pe uh, period or, or not? Another mnemonic, you can, it's not a mnemonic, but for tactile learners. And we made a lot of these um, with my children. And uh, that's why if I still have them around. You'll see these are pony beads on a leather strap anchored by a clear one. And so each of these pony beads is a particular color representing a different time uh, period of which they're 12 and it looks and you tie it off and you cut it and believe it or not I still use this at times um, depending on what my needs are with catechesis so lots of lots of different ideas there 
So let's now get to the, the crux of it. The 12 uh, time periods. You have, um, let's see, which of these, let's use this. I think this will work best for the camera. All right. You have 12 time frames. So, and you can buy these. You see the Great Adventure, and um, you can buy them at, I got mine off of Amazon. I have a, a complimentary link down at the bottom if you don't want to use Amazon for a variety of reasons. Just contact Ascension Press. So, we have, and this is listed, and this is not dependent on using whether you use the deuterocanonical books that the Catholic Bible has. If you're um, like the Schofield Bible, I'm going to do this exact. I'll be uh, high doing the pencils there on the books in the Schofield King James Version. So this method, in its core, is it's irrespective of whether you have a Catholic or Protestant Bible. So the early world is turquoise. Um, it's the color of earth seen from space and that would be Genesis 1 through 11 yes and there are and then at the little bottom here it shows you the supplemental books just like here in the old day so you would have so you're reading along and then if you wanted to know where for example Job fits he fits within the time frame of Genesis and if you look at the uh, the new, or even on this one, it shows, uh, well, up at the top, it shows the world uh, leaders at the time. We have dates. But let me show you there, because you can't buy Ted's, of course. So that's not, it's not fair to tempt you. <laughs> Here, you're going to see maps. You're going to have movements going from north to south, such as with the exile. Um, there's going to be uh, the 12 tribes when it comes to the formation of the, of the tribes of Judah, of Israel. There in Egypt, that's when that's occurring. So this really gives a lot, a lot of advice. Uh, not advice, but a lot of information. And you take this and you put it right in your Bible. If it, this is a little big, so, but this one, it fits nice. And uh, would it fit my Schofield? Yes. Yes. Okay. But that's, you, you know, it's your Bible. You take notes in it. And I put all kinds of things. And you put it there. Because that's where you're going to really want to have access to it. Okay? You want to uh, have it easy access. So, quickly, going through what I have here is that we have the patriarchs, which is a burgundy. That's God's blood covenant with Abraham, Genesis 12 through 50. The third time, for, uh, time period would be Egypt and Exodus is red, the Red Sea. Exodus, Desert Wanderings is number four, color tan, color of the desert, numbers, five, Conquest and Judges is green, the green hills of Canaan, Joshua and Judges, six, the sixth time period, so we went through, blah, blah, blah. six is purple, is royalty, right, here we are, six is purple, is royalty, so we did turquoise, uh, bur burgundy, red, the desert, sand, green, green hills, burgundy, I mean not burgundy, purple, uh, black is the divided kingdoms, those are sad days, darkening period, that would be uh, first and second kings, the exile, uh, seeing the baby blues because they're going into exile, that'd be second kings, the return, uh, is yellow, Brighter Days, Ezra and Nehemiah, uh, Maccabean Revolt, Revolt, we have Orange for the uh, fire and the oil lamps in the Purified Temple, First Maccabees, Gold, the Kingship of Christ, 
um, Luke and the church, white, uh, spotless bride of Christ or your baptismal store, or the Easter candle, right? What is that thing, that, that image that helps you remember? Acts. So that is the overview of using the system. Take it as you um, are able while you're reading and studying your Bible. Because as you read and study, you're adding the organs and the muscle, um, maybe, and that sort of thing. And you're fleshing out the organization. Take notes in your Bible. Take classes. Classes, you can use this method. Yes, uh, Bible, Timeline, and Ascension have excellent, excellent classes. But... I've had classes um, in a variety of settings, and this method is awesome. And enjoy, enjoy the adventure, my my sweet my sweet people, especially those, um, and you know who you are, that um, are close to us. Till then, be nice, and watch out.